Hey, hello, and welcome to this tutorial on Saturn. We're super excited to show you this new next level plugin that we're gonna release on Juice Bar today. Um, yeah, so as said, Saturn is like a next level plugin, something we've never seen in Juice Bar so far or in Resolume, and it's the next level of uh, image manipulation. Um, so, um, to give you a good idea, I'm going to use this image as a reference, uh, just because uh, it has uh, some good uh, variety in colors. And uh, let's jump into it. All right. So this is the plugin as is. Um, let's first change uh, the brightness a bit so that we can see what's going on. And uh, let's change the grid size to 19 for you. Let's make it flat. So um, the thing Saturn does is it creates a mesh on top of your uh, of a, a 3D grid um, and extrudes that mesh uh, depending on uh, luminosity or color or whatsoever. So we're actually creating like a 3D mesh. Well, this is like 2D, and then we can add some depth to it. And as you can see, we're already getting some super extreme cool results here. Um, let's set up a blend mode so we can see through it instead of... And uh, as said, this is in 3D. So let's dive into here. Yeah, you can immediately see what I'm talking about. This is like the next 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 best thing um, and um, we try to uh, like load it with as much parameters as possible so to give you full full control over everything um, and today I wanna yeah go over some of the parameters and uh, explain what they do and how they work and why they're there um, yeah so first there's the depth and as you saw, we ha just have a. If, if we have zero depth, we have a. Uh, uh, sorry, 05 depth. We have a simple plane. Uh, we can rotate on the x and the y axis. And depth allows us to give it some depth. The center allows it to put it in front or in the back. So if we have a lot of dark things and we want to, you know, uh, change the depth. Uh, we can use the center then let's go we have some parameters regarding the depth um, so let's uh, zoom a bit out uh, brightness is there uh, let's give it some more width well let's do that later um, so this is to manipulate the colors that are on the plane and we can give it a far and a dark and a and a and a depth just to create some more dynamics in the depth as you can see here it's better it allows you to lighten up a, uh, a small part uh, and set a beginning and an end so you can already see that you can make some cool effects with with this all right let's set it here then we have the option to billboard. Billboard is actually uh, uh, a way of uh, changing the grid into uh, blobs, or in this case, uh, like big pixels. And uh, those pixels are always facing the camera. So as you can see, there are always squares facing the camera, and we can change the size. Here, we can set the type of grid we want. Uh, and we have quite a few options. Let's zoom in a bit to make sure we're able to see what's going on. So as you see, we have squares now. We can make that triangles, vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal, diagonal. You can create holes and changing the width will correlate to the result we can make a dots so that's kind of the inverse uh, or we can set it to full 
which is also kind of cool, especially with a lot of depth. Um, let's get back to the triangles. All right, so this changes the size of the grid and it this adds like a blur to it. So I preferred like this, you know, kind of blurry. Like that, all right. And we have an invert. So this allows us to give us an invert of what is going on. As you can see here. Then we have the alpha of the grid. So we can actually fade between a full image or a grid. Um, we have an extra slider for the brightness. And then we come to this parameter that's called length factor. Um, and this kind of needs some explanation. Um, because we're extruding um, the, the pixels uh, based on brightness, we're actually creating extra brightness because we're extruding, it can be that we're extruding all the bright pixels um, so that we get an overload of brightness um, where the other regions don't get extended and don't get that bright. As you can see here, you'll see that the fingers of the hand, the dark ones, they're not so bright, but all the extended parts are super bright. So a length factor is here to just compensate a bit uh, to make sure that we're staying in the same kind of balance and dynamics of light. Then we have uh, the light, which is more like a lamp, which we can, uh, oh, sorry, light, which we can position through the depth of the image. And we can give it a size, so we can make it really short. As you can see here, this is already like, uh, I'm trying not to, you know, uh, it's already super cool, super cool. Um, then we have the blend mode, as we already saw. So none is just, uh, it's now it's just based on the depth. So everything that is in front of each other uh, is blocking the, the view of the other. We have an additive blend mode and we have the screen and we can choose for max. Well, it's, it's just a personal thing and it depends on the content you have. Uh, we have a zoom, so we can zoom out. And as you can see, it's like, already this side view is already um, we can change the lens size of the parameter of the camera uh, so that we can well you'll probably see it more when I zoom in uh, get more of a, a zoom lens like this or a tele uh, uh, sorry a wide angle uh, fish eye uh, kind of lens uh, and this is actually we're now in the the, 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 the object so that's lens, uh, use color. Uh, if we set that to, to zero, we'll get a black and white output. So you can use it as a mask or something else. Depth softness. Depth softness allows us to add like more like a soft thingy, like a blur on the depth itself just to make sure that it's not that spiky. Um, but it's a personal thing and it depends on the content. Um, so as you can see, it's getting, it's, it's more averaging the, the depth. Then we can choose what input we use for the depth. So in this case, we were using all the time the luminance, but we can use the red channel, the green channel, the blue, the intensity, the U saturation, the pure red, pure green, pure blue, or the alpha. Well, alpha doesn't do anything. So um, to give you a better understanding of how that works, let's use this blue image. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what did I do? Let's move that here. Um, let's give it some brightness. 
screen. All right, so um, this is the DJ playing. Uh, let's go to yeah, and the width. Let's add some blur and some width. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, here you can clearly see that we are using the luminance right now, and let's extend it so that. Yeah, we're not. Uh, if we're using the blue channels, but if we would use, for instance, the red, which isn't there a lot, you get a whole different result. Inverting is easy as sliding the depth the other way. So now you'll see that uh, all the pixels that contain blue, just pur purely blue, are all the way in the back, uh, and only a few containing red are in the front. Um, the intensity, the U, gives some pretty cool results, sometimes saturation, uh, say for instance pure, pu pure blue, well, uh, like this, yeah, just play with it, it, it depends on your content, on the, on, the, on the content you have. And last but absolutely not least is uh, the steps. So. With steps, you can set and limit the amount of steps we're using. So now we have two steps. So we have a back step and a front step, and we can add levels to that as we want. Um, cool thing about this is that it works on a video. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, are we able to drag this onto here? Yep. Just live running video. Um, so yeah, um, use it on a um, like camera input or uh, yeah, whatsoever. I mean, you can create some phenomenal cool stuff. And we were just on 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 19, but um, if we go to 50, you can go all the way up. I have to warn you about performance because this is quite, quite an expensive performance, expensive plugin. Uh, but if you have the overhead, uh, go ahead and use it. Yeah, I mean, this is like, I mean, yeah, I love this. So um, yeah, this, those are the, 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 all the options that are in the plugin. Um, go ahead, go over to Juice Bar and install it. Try it for yourself. Uh, we have a full functional uh, demo that uh, only has a watermark. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.